Well, hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be taking this little master board that I created during our Scraps to Treasure video um, and turning it into a couple of tags. This is the back, it's very plain, so I'm not gonna really do anything to it. I could add paper with lines and what have you, but I'm just gonna leave it alone. It'll be great for journaling just as it is. Um, but this side, I'm just basically cut it into three tags. And as I dug, dug through my stash, I found some really cool stickers that I had thrifted a while ago. And I picked out these three. Uh, one of them says, the fruits of the spirit, love, peace, joy, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. One says, know your worth. And the other one says, love is blind, love can tell a million stories. So... What I loved about these uh, stickers, they're stickers, they're actually, I think, supposed to be like little vinyl stickers or um, they feel like vinyl. Anyway, what I liked about them is the colors, if you can see, go well with the colors that are already on this master board here, which I made with a lot of little butterfly cutouts and stickers. And they have like white around them so that it kind of frames the words so that you can see them among the busyness of the background. So it kind of uh, already has like its own matting, if you will. So super is easy. That's all I'm going to do. I'm just going to cut them and put the stickers on. Actually, I think I'm going to put the stickers on first and then cut around them. I don't know if that's going to work, but I'm going to try it. So I'm going to start with this one, and I usually just bend the little corner of the stickers to get the uh, sticker out. I'm just going to center it. Actually, I'm not going to center it from top to bottom because there's a hole that's going to go on the top. I'm going to go a little bit below the center, so it'll be more like centered under the hole. Okay, and it doesn't feel straight. doesn't feel straight. Wait, wait, wait. I didn't press down on it. Let's see if I can adjust. Oh, no, it's down. It's okay. Feels kind of crooked to me. If it is, I can always kind of tweak the tag. We'll see what happens. But that is down, man. The, you know, normally I don't really trust sticker glue, and I put glue behind it, and I forgot to do that, but this is down. I mean, the, these stickers are good quality. Um... And I was lucky to find like a bundle of them for like less than a dollar at a, at a thrift store a while back. So there we go. And most of them, they're faith uh, themed as well, which I really like. So, although these are pretty neutral, I would say. Okay. And I love that message. Know your worth. So we'll put that down. But I, I just love how these colors just match so well to the some of you know the colors that are already on this master board. So there we go. All right, I've got my stickers down, and now I'm going to really just eyeballing it. I'm going to cut down my tags. Now this is a really thick cardboard. I don't know if you can tell how thick that is. I mean, I'm thinking that's even like a quarter or an eighth of an inch. Maybe not that much, but it's thick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a box cutter to cut, you know, this um, this cardboard. And what I'm doing is I'm lining up the uh, edge to one of these little squares. And then hopefully, <laughs> maybe at three inches. This is uh, one of the rulers you get at the Dollar Tree. It's awesome because it's I think it's technically called a square. And um, it just makes it really easy to um, line things up. And because it's metal, you could use it to cut, you know, because um, to, to um, lean your blade against the paper. So hold on a second. I'm not really seeing. Let me go like this to see. Yeah, I think three inches will be just right for that, that tag. So I'm just being very careful to hold it down, line this up at the top and at the bottom with my uh, mat, and then press down and just very carefully 
go with my box cutter down until see see how that moved gotta be careful and make sure that I am holding it down and not letting it move sometimes that's a little challenging so just like to kind of be careful take it easy and go as many times as I need until it gets cut and I'm seeing that some of my butterflies are coming up see that the little stuck um, I'm not gonna worry about it right this second we will deal with it when it is completely separated okay there we go so again because I had to go over it several times it, it messed it up a little bit I'll show you how we're gonna fix that in a minute okay um, I've got my Fabri-Tac glue here usually Fabri-Tac used for more heavy-duty things but since this has already been glued a couple of times I, I just trust the fabric tack to glue down whatever you know didn't get glued down before so that little bit that came up I'm using fabric tack to glue it down I think the rest is actually okay all right so let's close that again all right so I'm gonna worry about fixing those little edges once I'm done with all of them so let's work on this one now and I think maybe three inches will also be work work actually this one I didn't center it let's see can I pick it up no I'm telling you these are glued down good okay so because if I do this at three inches this is gonna be see how this is close uh, less you know narrower here than here so I'm gonna go a little bit I'm gonna push it over a little bit more because I want to line up my ru ruler or my square to this right here. So I'm pushing it over a little bit more. And it's a little bit better. This is going to, might end up being not great. But I really want to center this as best I can. I think it's a little crooked anyway, but that's alright. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that works. So this is where I want it. Now, I, I just have the ruler on this side so I can look at this. But it, in order to actually cut it, I'm going to turn it over to this side. Like I did before because, well, I'm right-handed. And I ha I'm going to use the box cutter with my right hand. So, again, pressing down nice and tight. Making sure the ruler doesn't move. Because it wants to gets pushed over a little bit and then pressing that nice and hard this is really thick cardboard so that's why it's taking a few passes even though I am pressing down nice and hard I think okay there we go I got separated okay there we go we have this one this one and actually it worked out really well the spacing on this one I'm pretty happy with it now, um, do I want to make this uh, tag shape? I think so. And to do that, I think I'm just going to take some heavy-duty scissors. Let's see if I can go ahead and... Yep, I can cut it with scissors, no problem. So I just cut this here. Some of the sticker fell off, but that's okay. I just flip it over so that it matches on this side. There we go. And now I'm going to take my hole puncher and just punch a hole in the middle. Again, I'm just eyeballing it, but that's about the middle right there. Okay, there we go. And that's my tag. Um, still have to fix the edges, but I'll do that in a second. Let me go ahead and finish making my tag shapes and they may not all come out the same but at least they they should be even by you know measuring it this way okay and punch the hole I was worried this might not punch this is just a, like a Dollar Tree hole punch and um, but it's punching fine because I'm telling you this is really thick cardboard okay and now a little bit here all right now I don't have to worry about 
that piece, <laughs> at least that corner. Okay, and there we go. Last hole. Right there. Ah, had to press really hard though. Okay, now to fix the little bit of um, damage, if you will, that was caused by uh, cutting, just gonna take a little sand block and you get these at the Dollar Tree. And I'm just gonna go down from up top down like this to smooth it out. There we go. And that pretty much will clean it up. I can go around the whole thing. If I see that there's any unevenness, you know? Like, okay, so this is a little bit from the back, so I'm going to go from the back up. And yeah, it does make a mess on your desk, but... You know, that's the price of getting the finish you want <laughs> okay there we go nice and smooth that works okay and let's see do I need to do that with this one this is actually okay maybe a little bit on this side make it more smooth there I like that um, if you want you could put a little bit of Mod Podge um, on the edges if you feel that it needs it I think it's just fine this is probably the worst one right here and there we go easy peasy it gets nice and smooth okay Whew. do have a big mess here though that I will clean up I need to get me one of those little vacuums I see people using but I'm just uh, scooping this onto my other hand and there we go okay so um, the last thing is the toppers. Now, I looked through my stash of little fibers and I came across these cute little um, pieces of lace and rickrack and things. And again, the colors I just thought went really well. So it's just a matter of picking one. Um, I'm thinking I like this one for this. It kind of brings out the, those colors. So I'm just going to grab a little piece. And you know what? You can even mix a couple of them. How about this and some pink or purple? Actually, I think I like it with some purple. So I'm just going to take, um, let's see, I want it to be about that, not too tall. So just kind of, again, eyeballing it. And these are not the best scissors, but for fabric. But so we got right now. So that's what we're using. Okay. So, there we go. Don't cut your hand, Maria. Okay, there we go. And fold it in half. Push it through. Pull it out the back. And tuck it in. And we will do that with the others. I'll pick out some colors and do that and come right back actually I don't know what I did wrong I think when I pulled I pulled unevenly so let me try it again so if that happens to you don't despair just pull it out and try it again <laughs> okay push it in pull it and see when I pulled it even it's a little bit uneven okay there we go Try to keep it even, push it through, and then try to pull all of them at the same time. Gotta wiggle a little bit because, you know, it doesn't smoothly just come through. Okay, there we go. I love it. This one came out so cool. I love it. All right, let's see where we're going to pick for this one. I kind of want the peach color and I'll go ahead and finish these and come back because it's uh, getting to be a little bit of a long video I'm not really editing today <laughs> because I'm at the last minute once again for uh, Tag Tuesday okay I'll be right back okay there are the completed tags 
I went with a little blue and beige on this one. I thought the blues were the strong element here. This one, I used the green again with the peach, and I think that works really well. And that is it. On the back, again, it's blank, so you can journal or do whatever you want to on it. And I am loving it. Super simple. That's the nice thing about using uh, master boards is that you can just add an embellishment and you already have a project almost completed. If you'd missed the video when I, where I made this master board, I will link it in the description box below. Or, and actually, I'll try to link it in, in you know, one of these corners here so that you can watch it. Thank you again, and definitely check out Sherry's video for Tag Tuesday, which is an open collaboration that she hosts, and she will have links to other participants as well. Thanks again for watching. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.